This is Zen English Podcast, a mini podcast trying to help you help yourself in English. Questions. We all know the standard questions of what? Excuse me? Can you repeat? But how much do those types of questions help the communication continue on? I see them as a block. It blocks further communication by admitting that you don't understand anything. What we're trying to do is further the communication so that the dialogue can continue. What do we need to do? We need to include our dialogue partner in the question that we're asking. How do we do that? We need to look for something that is what I call a verification question. Something that verifies what you understand and involves the information that has been communicated so that the other person in the dialogue knows what you know and also understands what you don't understand. So instead of just saying, excuse me, can you repeat? Try including the information that the person has just said into your question. Now, of course, you haven't caught all the things that they've said, but you've got an idea. You've heard some words. And even if your question is ridiculous, say the person has been talking about air, air travel and airplanes, when you ask your question, include that word in your question. A question like, so, are you saying that airplanes are a food? Now, that's a ridiculous question, but the other person will quickly identify where you are in the conversation, and they will modify and alter the direction of what they're saying in order to help you understand more. So, things like, are you saying, let me see if I understand you correctly. Are you telling me that, so, if I hear you correctly, you're saying that, okay, so let me see if I understand everything clearly. You're telling me that, and then include the words, concepts, or ideas that you did indeed catch, that you did understand, and put that into the question that will involve your dialogue partner into your understanding and comprehension, allowing them to tailor their speech more precisely to your needs for your better understanding. All of this will lead to better clarification, more precise communication, and better and more effective transmission of ideas. Give it a try. Consciously make an effort to try to reduce or even eliminate the words in your vocabulary like what, excuse me, can you repeat, and make the effort to implement more verification questions in order to get clarification of what you understand so that the people in your conversation can help you understand more. This has been Zen English Podcast.